Hey guys, welcome back. Now, how many of you have just scrolled through Instagram or Pinterest and seen these people who just look so effortless in the way that they roll up their sleeves or casually tuck in their baggy sweaters and it doesn't make sense as to where all of this fabric has gone in these tight high rise jeans. Any of you? Now, I know that we have all tried this at home and have not really received the same outcome. It doesn't look the same as Instagram. Why not? Well, I'm gonna teach you 10 ways to tuck tie and roll your clothes like a stylist. So you can look just as effortless and easy as all of these people that you are seeing on Instagram. If you have ever seen Queer Eye, then you know the first tuck that I'm gonna teach you, and that is the front tuck or as Tan from Queer Eye likes to call it, the French tuck, also known as the mullet tuck. But it is just a really casual way to define your waist without making it the focal point. It can transform any knit or sweater or oversized tee from looking bulky into looking a little bit more polished and intentional. This also works really great on extra long blouses or sweaters for people who have smaller frames. It is also going to visually elongate your legs into making you look visually taller and longer than you may actually be. So let's have a look at a couple ways to do this French tuck. To achieve this look in a t-shirt, we're gonna start with it untucked. Then we're gonna take the front of the fabric and just wrap it around our pointer finger like this. We then take that part and tuck it into our pants. This is so simple, but this is just your classic French tuck. Make sure everything is laying neat. And then obviously the back just stays undone. When I am wearing a lighter sweater like this, I like to do the same tuck, but make it asymmetrical so that it rests right above my hip bone. Make sure the sides lay smoothly, but it just creates a little bit more visual interest than putting it right in the center. Two more French tuck methods are really great when you have longer or baggier, thicker sweaters. The first one is called the hair tie method. Got my hair tie and I will simply tie up the front of my sweater, just like this. I will then take this portion and just tuck it up. Make sure that everything is laying smoothly, but you've got this look right here. This is just really good to secure the sweater, but also to make sure that you have less bulk in the top of your pants. The next method is my favorite when I have a very long sweater, but I want to show off some waist. And this is called the faux hem method. I'm going to take the sweater and simply tuck it up. I want the bottom of this to be slightly longer than my belt buckle. I will then take this and tuck it in, just like that. Make sure everything is smooth and laying well. This works really, really nicely to cut out the bulk in the pants because it's just tucked up here so nobody can see it. The next type of tuck is called a full tuck and it is how it sounds. It is just tucking your shirt or blouse all the way in 360 around your pants. It is going to help you achieve a more professional or polished look and just really streamlined. This tuck is best for pencil skirts or high-waisted trousers and a tailored shirt. One tip for this is that after you have tucked your shirt all the way in, go ahead and raise your arms all the way up. And by doing this, it will help the tuck just look a little bit more casual and not as stiff and rigid. If you are wearing a tighter skirt or tighter and, and thinner trousers, then I actually like to tuck into my tights or if I'm not wearing tights, my underwear. Not only will this help me keep my shirt in place, but it will also help with the line situation. I hate when I have just lines from my tucking that you can see through my pants. So by doing this, you will just be adding another layer in between your shirt and the world. <laughs> so it will help eliminate those lines. Now this next look, I am sure you have seen it all over Instagram and these people just look so put together, but like casually undone. <laughs> and that is the half tuck. You will typically wear a button up shirt when you are doing a half tuck because you need to split the shirt. And you will unbutton your shirt from the bottom up until you reach the waistband of your pants. You will then take the side that is underneath 
the two, right? There's two layers underneath the two. Now, instead of tucking your shirt into the center of your waistband, you're gonna take it and tuck it just right above your hip bone. This is going to help everything just lay a little bit smoother. All right, let's talk about sleeves and how to roll them to get that J. Crew esque look. First, if you have buttons, unbutton them. It'll just give you a little bit more wiggle room. Next, take the bottom and roll it up to just above your elbows. You will then take the bottom of that and roll that up over the part that we just rolled. It doesn't have to be perfect because it will look even more casual and like you just quickly roll them. You do want this end part to kind of stick out a little bit, just once again to not look too, too perfect. And there you have it. Let's do the other one. Roll it up to just above the elbow. You want this fabric to stay pretty smooth so that in the next roll, it, it rolls pretty nice. And then we're going to roll this one up. Okay, this is so easy, like done. And this is way better than just that typical roll that we all grew up with. Now, not all of us have a pair of skinny jeans that work really well with boots. So I'm going to teach you how to roll and tuck non-skinny jeans so that you still get that really nice slim silhouette when you are wearing boots over them. First, we are going to take the bottom of the pants and fold them up to shorten the hem. Then from the side, we are going to fold over that part tightly around our ankle. This will help create that nice sleek line. Then we are simply going to cover it with a sock to secure it and then put on our boot. This is so simple and will help elongate your legs and make you look like you were wearing skinny jeans, even if you aren't. The last tip that I'm going to teach you is how to casually roll up your boyfriend jeans or any other relaxed denim. It is super, super simple and it will just lend itself to a more casual roll than if you were to perfectly roll them up. You simply do one roll up, and then instead of rolling it a second time, you kind of do a half roll. So the outside of your pant leg, I like to roll up, and the inside, the side closest to my other leg, I will keep down. So it is more of like this asymmetrical roll. So once again, this lends itself to a more casual, kind of deliberately undone look, while still looking very put together. Well, there you have it. I have spilled all of my style tips and tricks when it comes to styling and rolling and tucking, just like your favorite Instagrammers. So now you can feel more confident when you need to tuck that big old baggy sweater into a little skirt. You got this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. And even better, please subscribe and spread the word with your friends. I would just love to get more people hearing all of these styling tips and tricks because we know a lot of people want to hear them and need them, right? Like a lot of people need them. So thank you for listening and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.